San Francisco, California. From the gold rush to the dot-com era, its legacy is rooted in the human drive for opportunity and success. So what better place for Florida State University College of Business alumnus Tim Cole to call home? A lot of times at work, I'll find myself staring out the window while I'm on the telephone. And for good reason, Tim Cole is a man of vision, and from his office window, a beautiful landscape of opportunity stretches out before him. A lot of times I just pinch myself. But For the last eight years, Tim Cole has woken up from his daydreams to find himself as Del Monte's Executive Vice President for Sales, the perfect position for someone who values the people side of business. The reason that I've enjoyed my career, when I look back on my career, is going to be because you're able to have some impact on an awful lot of people. From produce to pooches, you'd be surprised just how many products Cole oversees. These are some of the brands that uh, Del Monte owns, and run, ranging from our diced tomatoes and our corn to pepperonis, canine carryouts, kibbles and bits, our newest treat, Milo's Kitchen. Del Monte's history is actually rooted in the gold rush. They didn't have a stable preserved food source. And although that's a great fruit growing region, uh, the fruit obviously goes bad within a week. So the Del Monte Corporation was formed to actually can the fruit as a food source for the miners. And Cole's career has taken him on a journey not too different from those early 49ers. Tim Cole is a fifth generation Floridian. We were from the 1800s, one of the early Anglo families down in Florida. Raised on the eastern shores of St. Augustine Beach, when it came time for college, he began his journey west, for all the right reasons, of course. There was a better ratio of girls to guys at FSU, which is obviously a good marketing point. He should know his marketing and sales savvy have taken him to the top. I was fortunate enough to, uh, in my career, to, to ring the bell on the New York Stock Exchange, so. It was at the College of Business, however, where the first bell in his life rang, and this shirt-optional surfer found his future career. As I got into to college and took a few business classes, what I found out, probably starting with economics and then followed by the entry-level marketing classes, was that they made sense to me. I got great advice from professors to interview early and interview often because certainly you don't know what you don't know when you go out into that job search. And I took virtually every interview I could get my name on. By the end of his senior year, he had a number of job offers, but that desire for discovery made his choice an easy one. I like the location, Raleigh, of Quaker. And the whole profile of the company at the time was, if you did extremely well, you would move around the country and have succeeding positions of increased responsibility. And move he did. In his time with Quaker, Cole managed to live and work in nearly every corner of the country, even spending time with 2011 College of Business Hall of Famer, Ken Willis. So when Willis called and offered me the position, I was more than happy to take it in Dallas. Hey Rick, you got a second? Can I Over down? the years, he says it's people like Willis that taught him the key to success for any brand is quality and trust, not only in the products, but also in those who sell them. Once you reach a certain level in business, you're not actually doing it anymore. You're putting the right people in the right positions so they can do it for you. And if you do it well, uh, then they will succeed you will succeed and the company will succeed. Tim Cole had proven himself to be a top salesman for Quaker, introducing some of their most successful products, but his journey wasn't quite finished. In 2004, he finally made his way to the Golden Gate, and he brought some things along with him. And a lot of these brands were owned by Quaker Oats or introduced by Quaker Oats while I was there. In fact, I was- He's also brought some things from Florida State as well. Shortly after leaving FSU, he returned to recruit for Quaker, and soon a second set of bells rang wedding bells. I met my wife-to-be. She was recruiting for Burdines, which was a department store in Miami. And each year he returns to his alma mater as a member of the Board of Governors for the College of Business and a mentor for its marketing students. And these kids that are going through that professional selling program can sell as well as folks 
that I'm hiring with five years business experience. No kidding. And now his children, much like Tim, have chosen to journey away from home, his daughter to the University of Colorado at Boulder, and his son. So we've kind of come full, cir full circle. Now my son is a freshman at Florida State. So. It seems his treasure has been in Tallahassee all along.